<laughs> yeah, and that's how we found him. With his shoulders broken and his right leg all messed up. He was trying to look tough, but you could tell he was scared shitless. And hey, I can't say I blame him. I'd have been fucked up too if I went through that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it was her. The free radical. But our guy, he ain't saying shit. What, you don't know who she is? Friggin' rookies. Okay, let me tell you this story. So there's this little girl, like 14 years old, gets snatched up off the street by, you know, your classic crazy mad scientist. And she gets subjected to all these experiments and tests. Gives her some powers, mostly just makes her real strong and fast. And eventually she gets so strong that she breaks out and is able to go back home. They never find the dude who picked her up, and she doesn't say anything about her powers, so at first, her life kind of goes back to normal. Except this little kid, on the sly, she's going out and fooling around with her powers, basically becoming one of those teen vigilantes, starts calling herself the Free Radical. And sure, it's annoying as shit, but at the same time, she's kind of good at it. Like of all the idiots going out at night to do that vigilante crap, she's kind of the best and the brightest of all of them. She might even be like the start of something new, some people say. A new generation that's like scary powerful. But then one day, that scientist fuck comes back. She goes home and finds him there. And he just murdered her parents like he was still dripping with their blood. He juiced himself on some sort of formula, giving himself super strength, and was claiming she's supposed to be his bride, some fucked up shit like that. So she kills him. Right there on the front lawn. Beats him to death with her own two hands. Now legally, well it's self-defense, right? But she's still a kid. She's like just 15 now, and she's murdered a man. And some folks say he might have been begging for her to stop at the end. Maybe he did, maybe he didn't. Does it make any difference? Who could say, right? Anyway, she winds up getting assigned to this juvenile detention center for superhuman children. She's there for three years, and the whole time she's there, you gotta understand this, it's by choice. And that's not an exaggeration, that's a known fact. I've heard other cops talk openly about it. They could not have held her there if she didn't want to be there. See, it's not just her strength, it's how it all comes together. She's strong, but she's light, and that makes her fast. She's tough too, just in terms of like raw durability, plus whatever injury she does get, her body can heal up real quick. And then on top of all that, all her senses, like her hearing and her vision and everything, are cranked up to way higher than human levels. Put it all together and she might be one of the most dangerously powerful beings on the whole goddamn planet. Which is weird to think about. Anyway, she's in that juvenile detention center until she's like 19. And then she's out on the street. And she's got nowhere to go, so she just comes back here to Terminal City. But what'd she do then? Get a home? Get a job? Nah, fuck that. See, she's strong enough that she doesn't really feel stuff like the temperature. And she doesn't have any physical possessions. And her family's dead. So now she's basically just, like, homeless. She spends her days wandering around the city, getting into, like, little adventures and shit. I think she showers at community centers, and it's not like she has to pay for food. She's saved half the people in this city at one time or another, so there's dozens of places all over town that'll let her eat for free for the rest of her life. And hell, just having her hanging out in your place, it's a tourist draw. And it's not bad security either, because nobody wants to go out of their way to fuck with her. And listen, that's the deal. We don't fuck with her and she doesn't fuck with us. You run into her, you remember that. You don't try to arrest her. You don't give her any attitude. You do what you can to get innocent people out of the way and then you get the fuck back. 
When she shows up, weird shit goes down. Guaranteed. But at the same time, she watches out for us. And I don't mean like us the cops. I mean like us the regular folks. The ones who don't have any super durability or extra fast healing abilities. They call her the Free Radical. She's got a real name, sure. But nobody uses it. Alright, that's enough storytelling for one night. Let's get out there. Maybe do our jobs for a little while.